welcome to today's video. The center to make your dream come true is self-discipline. It is gaining control of your mind which in turn determines the decisions you make and the actions you take with your best interest at heart. It means to forego an immediate seemingly attractive benefit for a long-term benefit. Successful people have lots of self-discipline in their lives. Their lives are not controlled by someone else or the environment around them. Neither are their lives controlled by emotions. They are able to perform and to plan their lives. They keep commitments and promises. They meet their deadlines. If you want to be a renowned violinist, you have to put in a lot of hours of discipline and practice. Discipline is hard to maintain. It is difficult to remain consistent. But if you keep at it, you will get its value. You will achieve your dreams. For instance, if your goal is to lose weight and you don't keep your diet or you do not keep to your exercise routine, then you will not achieve that goal of losing weight. Self-discipline is not about feelings. You may not feel like it, but when you focus on the end goal, you will do it. You may not feel like going to the gym to exercise, but if you have to lose that weight for a healthier you, you will go to the gym. Your habits determine your success. It doesn't really matter how smart you are or how much you know. If you don't have self-discipline, you will not achieve what you are meant to achieve. Discipline drives daily performance. Discipline conquers the endless excuses that hold you back from achieving your dream. The feeling and emotion of motivation alone will not get you to where you want to be, but discipline will. Discipline will make you exercise every day. Discipline will make you choose to eat healthy meals every day. Discipline will make you wake up early every morning to do your daily devotionals. Discipline will make you choose to stay at home to meet an important deadline rather than to go out to a party with friends. Self-discipline is not easy, but there are no shortcuts. The road may seem to be long, but you will get there. The Word of God encourages us in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verses 10 to 11 that says, God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share it in His holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Strive to be self-disciplined in your daily life, and your life will get better in the long run. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.